Where do you usually keep that gun? It's the one that you own. It's in the hole. The fingerprints are all over the lamp, the gun, and the bullets. And the good doctor's skin is under her fingernails. Are you suggesting that I killed my wife? Are you saying that I crushed her skull and that I shot her? We can't help you until you help us. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Indisputable scientific evidence that on the night of January 20th, and brutally murder his wife. But you will hear more than that. Can you tell us what you observed when you arrived at the home of the victim on the night of the murder? The defendant's prints were found on the gun and the bullets. No other sets were found. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. Back in the confessional, and yeah, we staying lit, big dog. Hey, man, shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day, and shout out to the homie Lucky Wheels of Deals, man. We keeping it lit, all right? Hey, man, shout out to the whole So Cool fam and uh, CJ So Cool and the Wolf Pack and Cool Kids, Nike PRP, all of them was doing it up in Miami. So let's pray that they made it home safely or they out, they still out there having a good, safe, fun time. But anyway, let's get to the topic at hand. Derek Roberts pled guilty. Yeah, you heard it. Mr. Derek Roberts. And I think Derek Roberts was the uh, getaway driver uh, from the... Uh, from the video of what I will be about to react to. So let's get into it. I'm not finna hold you for too long. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. This is on for calendar call on Mr. Roberts alone. It looks like this case has been negotiated. Do you want me to read uh, the negotiations out? I can tell you got it. Okay. Uh, today. All right, so that means uh, they have negotiated, meaning they know he's gonna plead guilty and they giving him a time limit. They say, are you gonna take five years, 15 years, 20 years, whatever, they've already negotiated that. Now, I, I, had, I didn't listen to this full video, but I listened to most of it, and his sentence carries eight to 20, so we are gonna hear that, and then hopefully they tell us if the DA and his lawyer have came up with a time sentence, so we are gonna see, hopefully we get to see how much time he get. He's going to be pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit robbery, robbery, and battery with use with use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm. State retains the right to argue, as do we, and the state agrees not to argue for more than 8 to 20 years. So no more than 8 to 20 years. So let's let's just say for, for sake of conversation that he gets eight years. That means he's probably gonna testify against one of these fools. He gonna testify, all right? But if he get 20, that means he not testifying and he just rolling over. He But they can't just let him go for them eight years. They can't just let him go. But uh, so he getting eight, most definitely. And I don't know how they work, how they laws work if they get 85%. Like we do in Oklahoma, but 85% of eight years, he'll be home in like seven. And then all remaining counts will be dismissed. Yes, sir. Whoa, you hear that? All remaining counts will be dismissed. So it's a lot of other stuff that's being dismissed. Okay, so they're going to talk about which ones that's going to be uh, that he's getting charged for. But he's only getting charged for the battery, the robbery, and the conspiracy. State, is that all correct? That's correct, Judge. Mr. Roberts, is that your understanding of the negotiations? Yes. What's your true and full name? Yeah, Roberts. How old are you? How far did you go in school? So it's fair to say you read, write, and understand the English language. Are you under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medications today? Do you understand you're being charged with conspiracy to commit robbery, robbery, and battery with use of a deadly weapon resulting in substantial bodily harm? So since he's being charged with battery, I wonder if he was one of the actual shooters. Like he could have been one of the actual shooters because he's he's being charged with that. So maybe he was. Maybe I don't know. But 
I don't know. The details haven't came out like that. Let's see what the... Uh, join as a member. They don't really say who was the shooter, so maybe we need to re re read some police reports or something. How do you plead to those three charges? Guilty or not guilty? Is anybody forcing you to plead guilty? Are you pleading guilty of your own free will? Do you understand that uh, count one carries between one to six years in Nevada Department of Corrections, fine up to $5,000 and is probationable? Do you understand that count two carries two to 15 years in Nevada Department of Corrections and is probationable? Do you understand that count three also carries two to 15 years in Nevada Department of Corrections, fine up to $10,000 and is probationable as well? Do you understand that did y'all hear those years like she gave a two to 15, you know, so he could be charged, he could be sentenced to any amount within that. So I'm really interested to know how much time he actually got. And the sentencing is strictly up to the court, so nobody can promise you probation, leniency, or special treatment. I have a copy of your guilty plea agreement on page six. Your name is signed. Did you sign this document? Before you did so, did you go over it with your attorney? Hey. Put in the chat, if you're watching this right now, and then you can comment later, but put in the chat when you see this right now, how much time you think he should get. And then look back later at the end of this video if we find out. Let's see how much time he actually got. Did you understand it? Did your attorney answer all your questions before you signed off on this deal? Did your attorney or anyone else force or threaten you in any way in order to make you sign off on this deal? Do you understand that you are giving up the constitutional rights listed in this document by pleading guilty? Do you understand if you're not a U.S. citizen, this plea could result in negative immigration consequences? Also, what I do get from this whole video is that he was only in on this one. This was the only job that he did. Raven did hella jobs. Um, those other kids, they did other jobs. So I think this was his only one. And that's probably why he's the first to plead out. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm following close. He the only, he the first one to plead out, and we should start seeing them because a court date is April 10th. So we should start seeing them plead out real soon. Did you discuss your case and your rights with your attorney? Any questions for me regarding your case or your rights? The amended third superseding indictment reads as follows: At and within the county of Clark, state of Nevada, on or between January 11th, 2023, and January 21st, 2023, count one. Defendant Derek Lamont Roberts with Raven Simone Queen and or Sean Jackson and or Antoine Duffy and or DG and or an unidentified co-conspirator. So they, they, they read off the other people and I think the other, like I said, some of the kids got charged as an adult. That's why they are putting their names in the uh, indictment. But that one person might have been 15. They didn't charge him as an adult. So they still did not list his name. And they show other faces, other people's faces in this uh this court proceeding. So I'm pretty sure those other 17 year olds got charged as adults. Did on or about January 12, 2023, willfully and unlawfully conspire with each other to commit robbery by the defendant and or other conspir conspirators having phones that are associated with the defendant and various other co-conspirators engaging in text messages about the target address and a parking location nearby the target address and or these same phones engaging in addresses of various other co-conspirators and or defendant and or co-conspirators meeting up and driving to the target address and or parking location and or one or more of the co-conspirators entering the target home to commit the acts as set forth in count two, said acts being incorporated by this reference as though fully set forth herein. Thereafter, the co-conspirators fled on foot to their waiting cars to flee the scene, acting in concert throughout. That means they were text me sending this in text messages, so the police got their phones, and after they got caught and read all the text messages between the group, obviously they, none of them deleted the messages like some dummies. But uh, what do you expect? Uh, and they even talked about where they was going to park the car, whose house they was going to, all that. And she going she gonna to mention uh, CJ so cool in just a moment. Count two. Defendant Derek Lamont Roberts with Raven Simone Queen and or Sean Jackson and or Antoine McDuffie and or DG and or an unidentified co-conspirator did on or about January 12, 2023, willfully and lawfully and felonies to take personal property to wit keys from the person of Cordero Brady or in his presence without the consent and against the will of Cordero Brady by means of force or violence or fear of injury immediate or future to his person, the member of a family of his, uh, a me the person of a member of his family or of anyone in his company at, time of the at the time of the robbery. Bro, they stole keys? This fool about to do 20 years for some keys, dog. 
Just keys. Let me tell y'all how stupid this sound, big dog. This sounds dumb. Like, dumb, dumb. Man, come on, man. Y'all poorly planned, poorly executed, and somebody almost lost their life. Again, according to uh, other people's indictments. Come on, man. Defendant using force or fear to obtain or retain possession of the property, to prevent or overcome resistance to the taking of the property, and or to facilitate escape. The defendant's being criminally liable under one more of the following principles of criminal liability to wit. One, directly committing the crime. Two, aiding or abetting in the commission of the crime with the intent that the crime be committed by counseling, encouraging, hiring, commanding, inducing, and or otherwise procuring the other to commit the crime. And or three, pursuant to a conspiracy to commit this crime with the intent that the crime be committed. Defendants aiding or abetting and or conspiring by having phones that are associated with the defendant and various other co-conspirators engaging in text messages about the target address and a parking location nearby the target address. And or these same phones engaging in the addresses of very various other co-conspirators and or a defendant and or co-conspirators meeting up and driving to the target address and or parking location and or one or more of the, the co-conspirators entering the target home in order to use force to take personal property. Thereafter, the co-conspirators fled on foot to their waiting cars to flee the scene acting in concert throughout. Um, and then the final one says count 12. Is that supposed to be count three? Yes, Judge. Okay, I will amend that. <laughs> Uh, defendants Derek Lamont Roberts with Raven Simone Queen and or Sean Jackson and or Antoine McDuffie and or DG and or an unidentified co-conspirator did on or about January 12, 2023 willfully and lawfully informing to use force or violence upon the person of another to wit Cordero Brady with use of a deadly weapon to wit a firearm by shooting at and into the body of the said Cordero Brady with said firearm resulting in substantial bodily harm to Cordero Brady. The defendants being criminally, li criminally liable under one or more of the following principles of criminal liability to wit one directly committing the crime and or two it Dang, so we got, I want y'all to hear that again. Let's get back into that one. Let me see if we can hear that again. By shooting at and into the body of the said Cordero Brady with said fire and force to use force or violence upon the person of another to wit Cordero Brady with use of a deadly weapon to wit a firearm. By shooting at and into the body of the said Cordero Brady with said firearm resulting in substantial bodily harm to Cordero Brady. The defendants being criminally, li criminally liable under one or more of the following principles of criminal liability to wit. One, directly committing the crime. And or two, aiding or so he could have directly committed the crime or aided and abetted. See, they, they they leave too much to wonder about. I, I want to know who was the shooter. Like, let us know who the shooter is. Like, they she with the way that she's reading this, it's leading on to be like, you could have you could have did it or you either did it. But I don't think they have enough evidence or maybe somebody's not talking and they're not saying like. They're pointing fingers at each other. He shot him. No, he shot him. But either way, they like shit. It don't matter who shot him. Y'all all going down. Betting in the commission of the crime with the intent that the crime be committed by counseling, encouraging, hiring, commanding, inducing, and or other procuring the other to commit the crime. And or three, pursuant to a conspiracy to commit this crime with the intent that the crime be committed. Defendants aiding or abetting or conspiring by defendants acting in concert throughout. Are those the facts that cause you to plead guilty today, Mr. Roberts? I find there is a factual basis for this plea and it is freely and voluntarily entered. At this time, we are going to refer the case to the Department of Parole and Probation for preparation of PSI and set it down for sentencing on the following date. May 15th at 9.30. So May 15th. Hey, that's a special day. May 15th We at 9.30. Um, we're going to be following up, big guys. We're going to be following up for this uh, pre-sentencing investigation. All calendar call and trial dates will vacate. There was a May 8th date that was given earlier that my client would prefer if that was possible. Can we do May 8th? Is that 40 days? That's a week early. What was the May 8th date? Because we have to give them 45 days exactly. Yeah. 45 days is May 15th. Okay. Okay. If we gave that date, we're going to have problems with that one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That's crazy. That's crazy. So May 15th, we're going to find out what this guy is getting sentenced to. Um, like I said, some of them was 8 to 22 to 15. But, okay, so with him and the DA, if we go back to the beginning, him and the DA, his lawyer and the DA uh, negotiated 8 to 20. So he'll get about 8 to 20, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to run it concurrent. They're not going to give him more than 20. Um, so they'll, every charge, he'll get 
eight to twenty every charge, no matter what the what the uh. So one of the uh one of the charges will carry two to fifteen. So that makes me believe that either he will get probation for that one or he'll get the max 15. He won't get two. He'll get the max 15. So either all his charges will be no more than 15 years or he'll get probation for the lesser charge and they can max him out at 20 with the other charge, the charge that carries 20 years. So it all depends on the judge. You know, honestly, uh, with this situation, I wouldn't have no leniency on these fools because this was a targeted, premeditated event that happened. And um, Raven Queen is a habitual offender. So I believe she's going to get a, a good 50 ball. She's going to get something hot. You know what I'm saying? And man, hey, prayers going up for CJ, man. I know this is some good news he want to hear. Or probably don't want to hear. I, I'm pretty sure he really don't give a damn about it. But, you know, honestly, he can put this person behind him and behind bars as they should be. You know, hey, there was times in my life where I was doing crimes and I ended up right where I needed to be. OK, so sometimes you just you get yourself into a situation and you got to live with the consequences. And but I, I don't think. It doesn't matter what he gets sentenced. Whatever he gets sentenced is not enough. And that's all, that's all I got to say about that. You know, not just as a CJ So Cool supporter, but as an actual, like, if I was a victim, I, would, I wouldn't think 20 years would be enough. Nothing under 20 would be enough because these men came into my home, violated me, uh, and, and, and tried to take my life. Now he has to live with the trauma, the PTSD, and all this stuff that we don't even know that he suffers from. Because, like, CJ is a tough person. And I, I see him hiding a lot of his, his uh, feelings because he's on TV. And if he wasn't on TV, that's something that he could talk to about to somebody. Like, I could go talk to anybody and nobody would give a damn. But he just can't go talk to anybody because he'll have to worry about if this person is going to leak information about him seeking help and validation for himself. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a, a very traumatic experience. And, you know, man, like I said, man, I pray that everything goes well for him. And I hope that, you know, he, uh, you know, justice is served. I know this won't make him feel better, but at least... Um, at least it'll make them feel better for the time being. But everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. How many years you going you think he'll get? How many years do you think Derek Roberts will get? I'ma easily say he'll get the max 15 for that one charge. If he don't get probation, they'll max if he don't get probation for it and they max him out at the uh 20 years on the other charges. And and that's what I'm assuming. Especially if he's the shooter. Matter of fact, I'll I, well, I, I'll look up who was the shooter later, and I'll figure that out. But I, I don't think he was the shooter because the way she wrote out the chart, read out the charges. I think I think he was just co a co-conspirator, and you know, things happen. Everyday people, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'ma holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>